morning we're at uh, ASD talking to Joe Rapepe about how he's growing strawberries in his Cravo retractable uh, greenhouse. Um, Joe, what if you can just give us a bit of an insight as to what variety and planting that you've got with this crop? Uh, in here we're growing um, a variety called Cabrillo. Um, they were planted on the around the uh, first week of June. Um, the plant density is about 10 plants per bag or per metre. And what do you feel has been the main challenges so far with the crop, Joe? Um, so far this year with the unpredictable, unstable weather, um, the main challenges would have been um, you know, mildew issues. Um, but yeah, we're, we're compared to a traditional sort of tunnel, um, we found it a lot easier in here because of the retractable roof. So what do you feel has been the main challenges so far with the crop and what have you learned from that Joe? Um, the key learnings really uh, Tony, um, we, the first year that we started growing in the Cravo we were a bit late on the finishing completion of the actual structure so we actually planted um, a lot later than we did this year um, and that in, you know, sort of made the plants be a lot more uh, vegety. Obviously with a crop of this size uh, we've got a few pests and disease issues to deal with but what sort of pest pressures have you faced Joe? Um, yeah, uh, two spotted mite um, pests, um, you know, your thrips that blow in and out of the tunnel, tunnels or the houses. Um, they're the main main pressures that we have at the moment. Um, we sort of have a bit of a battle earlier on until we get our um, predators established, but we find normally find, you know, sort of towards the end of December we've got full control of, of most pests. So your, your IPM is pretty key in controlling pests in this Very, area. very, very important. In terms of fruit quality, um, colour, shelf life, taste, what sort of feedback have you been getting from the market on the produce that you've been providing? The feedback's been fantastic. Um, you know, the fruit's very uniformed in here. Um, you know, we're very strict on, on the pickers to pick full colour. Um, and the shelf life's, you know, it's it's incredible. And how long will you harvest this crop for? So we will harvest this crop until, um, you know, sort of the middle of May, late May. So in Victoria, we're really just coming into the summer now. What the major challenges you see for the season and how will you overcome them? Uh, well, you know, with uh, our traditional summer, uh, um, you know, we can get temps of 35 plus. So, um, you know, we try to relieve the stress from the plants by shading the crop, kicking the walls open to get that ventilation up and out the top of the roof. Um, yeah, so we can actually sort of maintain about a five to six degree temperature difference between inside and out. And um, yeah, we, we find that crucial. Um, you know, so, and even the UV on the um, actual leaf surface is, um, you know, we're able to sort of cut that completely away by shading the crop. So ASD were pretty much some of the pioneers of getting Cravo with strawberries uh, happening in Victoria, but what's your sort of uh, thoughts from, I suppose, from a grower perspective as to what's the effectiveness of the Cravo and uh, would you recommend it to others? Yeah, like, like I said, um, being able to really control, you, you know, the, the heat that um, can cause damage to the crop by shading and stuff like that, and um, likes of mildew pressures and stuff like that, with the roof being, you know, open, you, you've got a lot of advantages. So yeah, I uh, couldn't really think of growing back in a normal traditional tunnel. Um, yeah, we we we're really happy with um, the Cravo and what it's how it's performing and. Um, yeah, looking forward to building the next one. So the Cravo house, if we look at that as a comparison to your more traditional tunnels, um, what do you see as the difference between the two crops? Well, in here I noticed compared to the traditional sort of houses that, um, you know, few, the fruit's actually a lot more bigger in size. Um, plants are less vegetative in here um, because of the roof, um, things like that. So here we have um, a Cabrillo first year plant grown in a traditional tunnel. Um, as you can see, the um, plants are sort of stretching up towards the light. Um, we have a lot more issues with penetration while um, spraying um, compared to our plants 
in the cray though, they're a lot more compact, um, more fruit and yeah, less problems with penetration.